Today, in lesson two, we are going to learn two verb conjugations, said y estar. Both translates in English to be. How do we conjugate those verbs? And it was said, we first need the personal pronouns, I, eu. And then you say the verb conjugation, am, so. Okay, then let's conjugate this verb. Eu sou. Tu eres is used in Portugal. It's not used in other uh, Portuguese countries where they speak Portuguese. Ele, ela, você, é. Nós somos. Eles, elas, vocês, são. When do you use verbo ser? Most of the time, students say, oh, it's a permanent situation. Just be careful with that, okay? We use verbo ser when we describe people or things. We say the time, where somebody is from, the nationality, or the profession, profissão. Que são eles? We are going to describe to those two guys. They are from Rio de Janeiro. São estudantes no Rio de Janeiro. Quem é paulista? Paulista is a person that's born in Sao Paulo, Brazil, like your instructor. I am from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I am paulista. Sou paulista. You describe and you use verbo ser. The picture, the guys in the picture right there, those guys, all right. They are from uh, São Paulo, são paulistas, são jogadores de futebol, they play soccer. If you want to say how is, como é, how are they, or how are the things, como são. From where is, de onde é, from where are they, de onde são. To ask for time. Que hora é? Que hora são? You can either choose the singular or the plural, it doesn't matter. You don't know what time it is then? Let's look at verbo estar. Verbo estar also requires the personal pronouns. Let's see if you remember. Eu means I. And then you conjugate the verb. Eu estou. I am. But I am for a specific uses. We'll learn next. Tu estás, again, is used in Portugal. Ele, ela, você está. Nós estamos. Eles, elas, vocês estão. Okay. We use verbo estar <coughs> to talk about an action in progress. Okay. Um, for example, eu estou andando. Ele, ela, você está bebendo. Nós estamos comendo, eles, elas, vocês estão dormindo. Then what we do is we get the verbo estar and we change a little bit the following verb. As you see underneath verbos ending on AR, you change to estando. Verbos ending in ER, indo. Verbos IR, into. Andando, bebendo, dormindo. When do you use verbo estar? <coughs> People say temporary situations. Be careful with that, okay? Verbo estar is used when you want to tell where something is. The location of something, localização. Or you want to say the present continuum, the past continuum, all the actions in progress. Right now we are learning just present continuum. Eu estou falando. I am talking to you. Eu estou falando. It's a present progressive continuum. Onde está? Belém está no Nordeste. Belém is a region of the Northeast of Brazil. It's a location. O Pantanal está na região Centro-Oeste. This is a beautiful preserved um, area of Brazil. Pantanal has a lot of birds, a lot of forests, a lot of very um, 
protected area. Onde está a Marte Moda? Onde fica a Marte Moda? You can also say ficar is to be or to stay. Well, this is a map of Sao Paulo and in the city of Sao Paulo, of course. And you have street names and I want to go shop. Okay, the ladies, they love to go shopping. And Marte Moda is one of the store that sells clothing. Okay, Marte Moda está na rua Dona Inês de Castro. Marte Moda fica na rua Dona Inês de Castro. Ok, let's describe now what are they doing. O que está fazendo? O que está bebendo? What is doing? What is drinking? O jovem está comendo. The young person, the man, is eating. A jovem está bebendo. The young lady is drinking. Then, Pay attention to the articles before the nouns. O jovem is a masculine. A jovem is a feminine. The word jovem can be used for masculine or feminine. Just put the articles before to describe who the person you are talking about. 